Off to Hosway. Hosway breaks it up the middle for Hosway. Off to the races. Hosway Otero takes it into the end zone. Touchdown, Swain County and Hosway Otero. Woohee! <laughs> Never gets old winning this thing. I've been real fortunate. We played for 10 state championships while I was here, and I'm so fortunate to be here. In our community, what a great turnout today, and uh, it's just an unbelievable day for Swain County. That's uh, the referee on our sideline. He said, "Is there anybody left in Bryson City?" And I said, "Bud, we canceled the Christmas parade." <laughs> I said, when we come down here to win this thing, I said, they would postpone Christmas to come down here. Our fans, they will follow. And we had a great crowd, just like we have this whole playoff run. And uh, that's what it's all about for us. We told them that this week that, you know, we're going to be the home team here, and we'll have the most fans here out of anybody that comes here today. And I tell you what, they showed up, and we appreciate them. our guts out for the entire playoffs all five games and it was no different today but I tell you what bottom line it says a lot about the character of these kids and the fact that you know a lot of teams would have mailed it in last week a lot of teams would have given up this week when we got tied back up but we just kept going and kept making plays and it's just a credit to them and, and their work ethic and what the rest of these coaches have done this year. Down five yards to go ball with a 17 yard line of Swain County big big play in the game. In fact, they have put Ramirez out there. We'll have to see whether it be a fake, but if not, they're kicking the field goal. 34-yard attempt. Kicked it right into the back of the line. And that's a live ball. And Ramirez gets his hands on the back of the jersey of Jared Turbeville and Swain County. I don't necessarily know that you call that a block because the kick never really got airborne. No. But that's a huge play for the Maroon Devils. It turns the tide. They're driving to try to win the game. Hyatt. Down the seam. Two guys are there for Aiden Grifton, but a great catch made by Matt Manley. Oh, Matthew Manley. Outstanding. I mean, fingertip grab. He's been one of their playmakers all season long, and in the biggest game of the season, he comes up big on that particular play. Great poise here by Hyatt. Not a whole lot of pressure. Great ball. Well, and, Manley gets, it, and Manley gets behind both defenders. I was going to say, he places it only where... See, the safety is there to make a play. He didn't find a receiver, but he saw the ball over his head, but he placed it where only his guy can catch the football. It's, uh, it's unreal. It's just the greatest feeling in the world. There's nothing like this right here. And winning on my dad's birthday, I mean, that just makes it that much better. Three to play. Third down and six for the Maroon Devils. Hyatt keeps on his feet to the 10, to the 5. Another first down for Swain County. Nice play by Hyatt. And Swain County wins this football game. I'll go ahead and throw his name out there right now with two minutes and some change. He's the most valuable player in my book, the offensive player in this football game, because watch what he does here. He fakes the dive. He should go outside, but he's following the running back. 
Yeah. I mean, this kid has done some great things for his offense. What he did, he saw the seam, and he just follows his back. Austin Schuler out there and uh, leading the way. And that keeps the clock moving. The ball is the, at the five-yard line. First and goal, Swain County. Give us Joe Schuler touchdown. Austin Schuler is second in the game. This one from five yards. And Swain County, with two minutes and 20 seconds to play in the fourth quarter, has a six-point lead at 20 to 14. I thought it was one of the best ones I've seen in a long, long time. I really congratulate the team, the coaches, and the community. What a great ball game. Nothing's ever easy, and I tell you, what a ball game. Uh, Aiden Griffith, they are a great football team, and we earned a state championship. This was so tough, and it could have gone either way at any time. And our kids, just for so long, they just endured. And um, what can you say? He runs out of the shotgun. He runs to the left side. Turns the corner. He's got some room. 25-30, 35-40. Look out. 45-50. And he is long oh, gone, man, Steve. Gone. Nobody is going to catch Capel. Darn it. Darn it. And he scores. He scores from the line of scrimmage, which was about the 19-yard line. The winner tonight will play the Eastern champion. Could be Wallace Rose Hill. They pop it out to the right side. This time it's going to be West Montgomery to the house again. Look out. But another touchdown run. Receivers left and right. Snap goes to Capel. Timing pattern. End zone. It's touchdown. I know there's so much football left to play. We're just getting started, but this hole is getting really deep. Here comes Capel right up the middle. He tried to fake the handoff, and he's going to score grief. again. He Good scored grief. 23 yards out on a perfect play action. Fake in the shotgun. Gets the snap. Here comes pressure. Sets up the screen. Hoseway is there. He's got a lot of we room got it. on the 35 30, 25 20. Down inside the 15 is Hoseway all the way down to the 8 yard line. And that screen play worked to perfection. They're blitzing. Really, we really caught him on that one. He'll be under center. He's going to run straight ahead. Is he in? He's, He's close. close. He's close. He's in. He's in. Touchdown, Swain County. And Colby High. Now, first down and 10. Colby in trouble. And he Get gets me. into the secondary. Go, Colby. Down to the He's 15. in the clear. And he's going to score. Get touchdown, Colby High. And Swain County, good, great decision to keep that ball himself and run it on the left side, and he broke into the clear and all the way to the end zone for Colby Hyatt. People in the shotgun, fires, timing pattern, left side, and it's a battle for it. Manly got it, we got it. Manley on the interception, back out to the 10, 15, 20, 25, out to the 30. He's finally knocked out of bounds, but that was a battle for the ball, Steve, and, and Matthew Manley just out-wrestled the receiver for that football. Colby back to throw now, 24 seconds to play before the half. Here comes the timing pattern, left side. We got Here it. comes Cody Ritz. Cody Ritz. Ritz. He's Cody gone. He's going to score. Touchdown, Swain County, and Cody Ritz. And this place just goes crazy. I'm telling you why. Unbelievable. <laughs> we have stormed back from a 28-nothing ball game, and it's now 28 to 20. Wow! We way to go, Cody Ranch and Colby High. Championship round next weekend. Oh, ball knocked down. There's Corbin Panther. He jumped up and slapped it away. First down, hands off left side. Here's Hoseway in the secondary. At the 15, clear. he's going to score. And it's going to be tied. Otero all the way to the house. Oh, man, that was broke right up the middle. And he, when he got past the line of scrimmage, there was nobody at home. First down and 10, West Montgomery. Still a lot of football to play to decide who's going to be playing next Saturday. Capel. Ball's loose. Oh, oh the ball is loose. It's going to be picked it. up by Cody Rich. And another fumble by Capel. For West Montgomery, go for it on fourth down and four. Colby Hyatt under center, one wide receiver to the right side. Colby gonna throw down the middle. Matthew Manley nice. has it. Touchdown, the Red Devils, and we have the lead for the first time tonight. <laughs> Colby straight drop wants to fire down the middle. Oh, it's got his man Cody Rich at the 36-yard line. Penalty flag down. We may have a defensive pass interference, and he still caught it. Manley the holder. Evan Sneed, good snap, good hold, has the distance, it looks perfect, and it is it's good. good! It's good! All right! Evan Sneed kicks it to the uprights. Three points, 37 to 35. Swing County on top with 33 seconds to play in the ball. Game. The Devils are going to be rushing four. 
He has pressure. Capel steps up. He's going to throw it down the middle. It's going to be intercepted. And here it comes again. C.J. Shepard on another great interception. And this one's over. Two and a half seconds to play. Fans down on the field following a huge comeback as the Maroon Devils win it here tonight to move on to the state 1AA championship next Saturday. Joining us now is, is uh, Maroon Devil head coach Sam Patillo. And coach, one of the greatest comebacks in the history of Maroon Devil football down 28 to nothing. Our guys really <laughs> never stopped believing, did they? No, as a kiss from one of my former principals. I don't know if it ought to be on the news or not. But yeah, I... Our kids were the ones. Uh, I was thinking, you know, this is going to be 200 to nothing. <laughs> and uh, the speed, we adjusted to it. And we just kept hanging in there, and that's what these kids are. Yeah. Um, and we're we're proud of them. And uh, I told a couple on the sideline, win or lose, where well, we came back and just had a competitive game at the end, I thought, man, we did well to get back in this. Let's see if I can get to uh, your old head coach, Coach Boyd Cease, to come over and, and chat with us here in just a minute. Coaches, you can get in here with Sam. This was an unbelievable football game tonight, to say the least. Well, I tell you what, if he had been coaching here all these years, maybe we'd win one more game than what we did. That made all I ever witnessed. I, God darn, Coach. It really did. It's just uh, Heath Shuler and I was up there at halftime, and it was 28-14, to 14 and just a few seconds, and we, I told Heath, I said, I know what i do. And he said, I'd do the same thing. I'd sit on this and go in at 28-14. And after that touchdown, Coach, I said, it's good. <laughs> They're coaching. We're sitting up here. <laughs> and we tracked down the guy that kicked the game-winning field goal, Evan Sneed. Evan, got to ask you the same question. What was going through your mind when you went out on the field to kick that field goal? I just I knew everything was riding on it, and I knew I had to make it. So I was just visualizing. That's my that's the hash I like. I prefer to kick from. So I just knew I had to make it and finish the game for us. <laughs> Joining us now is quarterback Kobe Heineck. What a game, Kobe! I mean, uh, just uh, did you ever think we were out, even down twenty-eight to nothing here tonight? I know we started getting we were rolling a little bit, and I thought you know we can we might be able to pull it out. And we got to after halftime, and I knew it was going to happen then. Yeah. What do you think was a turning point in the game? I know there seemed like 25 turning points, but uh, uh, in your mind, what was the real big play in the game for us, you think? Josue broke that long run. That broke him right there. Yeah. That's what broke. That's what we talked about all week was their breaking point, and that was it right there. Yeah. You guys play great on offense, great on defense, didn't turn the ball over. They turned the ball over some tonight, so that, that had to play into the game as well. Our defense, man. The Sharks. What do you expect? They're awesome. <laughs> but uh, uh, were you a little bit nervous when uh, we lined up to try to kick that uh, field goal? I didn't even watch it. <laughs> I had to close my eyes. I couldn't even watch it. <laughs> well, I tell you, I think everybody in the stadium was holding their breath. But uh, uh, what a feeling it is to go play for the 1A state championship yeah. next week. It's awesome. I never felt like anything this before. Uh, well, Kobe, congratulations. Great game. And, uh, hey, we'll be down there next Saturday. And good luck. Thank you. All right. Thank Kobe Hyatt, quarterback for the Maroon Devils fans. We'll have more in just a moment. Lee Patillo recognizes the most outstanding offensive player. The outstanding defensive player, Austin Schuler. They've got those flipped. Patillo's the defensive player. Schuler is the offensive player. And your game's MVP will likely be Colby Hyatt. They switched. Him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the most valuable player for this NCHSAA state championship is Colby Hyatt from Swain County High School. Well, Colby Hyatt did enough. I shouldn't say he did enough. He did it all. He came back and made something happen for his football team. I mean, he picked up big first downs. He's making plays. He had a big, huge pimp impact on the game. Just a dynamite throw in that spot there when he found Matt Manley. That led to the game-clinching touchdown. Two of those touchdowns scored by Austin Schuler. But no bigger award going to an individual than the game's MVP. And he's standing by with our own Jim Connors on the field. Jim? No, oh, you had that game under control for a half, but they certainly made you sweat it in the second half. Yeah, um, I had a key mistake, and that led, that got things momentum. And then we just bounced back there at the end, and we got it done. 
What are you thinking when your defense still has to get the ball back for you because well, they've come all the way back? I knew they could do it. They've done it all year, and I had no doubt in them this time. How much is it when you're playing for Swain County with the history of championships to come out here and get it done on the big stage? It's nothing. This is how we're going to be remembered, and this is crazy. Go enjoy it with your teammates. Congratulations. Thank you. Back there. Colby Hyatt, the game's MVP. And the Swain County Maroon Devils are your one AA state champs. Fantastic performance put on on a number of fronts, offensively, defensively. But in the end, it's Swain County winning it by the final of 20 to 14 over the Chargers of Aiden Grifton, who trailed 14 nothing at the break. Got the game tied up. A dynamite fourth quarter, a dynamite finish, and a dynamite state champ for the one AA ranks, the Maroon Devils of Swain County. Steve, that's just the feeling that I can't even possibly put into words. I'm so proud of our team and our kids for the effort they gave today. Tribute to our kids. You know, we talk to them week in and week out about the game is four quarters. We're not going to play one, two, or three. We're going to finish the whole game. And, man, they just work their butts off, and I'm just I'm so proud of them. I can't say enough.